Today I will rank the most popular planche exercises from the worst to the best. Now let's get started. Let me quick explain you the system first. So the red one is the zone that we are going to use the most effective exercises for planche and the green one is the least effective exercises for planche. Let's put the exercises into these categories. Starting with number one we have dumbbell rises. One of my favorite exercises for planche. One of the most effective for all the levels in the planche. It can be trained from beginners, intermediate and advanced. With this exercise you can gain a lot of strength in the shoulders and also in the biceps. And not only, you can also learn how to extend your shoulders. So this one, I'm going to put it on the top because I know it's effective. I increase also my numbers in the planche press and also in the planche hold. Okay, the next exercise that we have here is one leg full planche. This one is only for advanced or intermediate athletes because it can be done from the beginners but I can say this one is also really effective because it's absolutely the same feeling like you're doing the full planche with two legs or also the straddle planche. Okay so overall we'll say this is a really good exercise. It's going to be a little bit easier than the normal full planche so we're gonna rate this one here. Okay so the third exercise that we have is frog stand but with support knees to the elbows. I personally don't like this exercise because there's a lot more exercises that you can switch instead of this one for example tuck planche or just planche lean that you can gain much more strength in the shoulders in the biceps the most important thing. Also you can fix your protraction in this one as you can see it's more going to the handstand bent elbows and also zero protraction position so I totally don't recommend this one maybe for a total beginner if you just want to test how it feels to stay on your hands it's good but overall I don't recommend this one so this one I'll put it absolutely here because it can be replaced by a lot more exercises okay so the next exercise that we have is handstand push-ups like I already said shoulders and biceps are the most important thing when you talk about the planche also the chest but here we have the focus on the shoulders is the main focus actually so I totally recommend also to beginners if they can do normal handstand without wall just to do it with the wall so they can support their plan journey it can be done also by the intermediate and also by the advanced athletes so I totally recommend you this exercise but it's not like the dumbbell rises so I'll put it here okay the second exercise that we have is regular push-ups I would personally say that now I don't train any push-ups I don't have them in my routines but I know a lot of people a lot of athletes that do this basic exercise because it's also really helpful but I can recommend you for the activation day if you have activation day that you just want to activate your body to prepare your muscles for the next workout it's really good exercise and one of the best exercises for a total beginner when we talk about planche journey so this one I'll say it's a really good one. So the next exercise is bent arm full planche on the bottom position. This is exercise that is, let's say, not that used in our sport because it's not that effective and you can replace it with a planche lean because if you're a total beginner first, you need to learn how to use your protraction, how to extend your shoulders, the most important thing. So this one can be more effective if you're using it in the planche push-ups and it's really specific exercise that can help mostly in the planche push-ups. We move on to the next exercise, it's planche lean. One of the best exercises in the planche that you can use not only if you're total beginner, if you're intermediate, advanced doesn't matter you can use this exercise for me personally i'm using it to do my activation day for the planche for a total beginner this is first step after the push-up that you need to learn so this one you need to extend your shoulders you need to turn your biceps forward and to be focused on the protraction and hips down and also grip should be with the thumbs forward the most important things for planche lean use this exercise it's pretty good i'll put it on the top so the next exercise that we have is full planche assisted with roller i personally don't like this exercise because i tested by myself and my friends there is no strength you can do it just by lean almost everyone can do it no matter about your, your strength and I think this exercise is absolutely no needed useless because the only thing that you can do from it is to get some injuries to your wrists this one is only if you want to make just a photo with it 
so I totally don't recommend you this one. Okay, so the next exercise that we have is planche box assisted planche press with the box because you can do also presses, you can also hold in the static position. So this exercise is pretty effective for the core strength, you can gain a lot of strength in core, but also it is really helpful for the movement to the press, you can learn how to move in it and you can also learn how to stay in that clean body line position. You can gain strength in the shoulders also and it's pretty effective exercise. For a beginner I can say it's good, if it's too hard for you you can open the legs. For intermediate should be fine, for advanced for sure should be also easy because I don't test it a lot, I'll put it here. Okay we move on to the next one, planche with the resistant band. Probably you already know resistant bands is one of the keys when we talk about plant journey there's a lot of people using the resistant bands also me if i want to increase my level i'm using the resistant bands why because if you want to train volume if you want to train more seconds of hold more reps of push-ups or presses you need the bands to support you so you can hit that limit and after that when you gain the strength you can try it without the bands so bands we absolutely put on the top if you want to check out the resistant bands that i'm using check the link in the description okay so the second exercise that we have is half lay planche personally i can say this exercise is not easy it's pretty hard if we talk about to do it in the right way but also it can be not that effective because there's a lot of people that i can see also in the social media trying this exercise and doing it with the wrong form they're losing the protraction too much lean legs in not the, the right position hips too much up or too much down too much lean also not really good for the the wrist so i can say this exercise if you want to practice it you need to be absolutely sure you're gonna do it in the right way if it's too heavy for you just change the exercise so this one i'm going to put it here because i can say it is a little bit dangerous exercise for the people that don't know how to train it so if you don't know how to train it and you're not sure in yourself just change it with the other exercise okay so the next exercise that we have is advanced tuck planche who's this guy on the photo if you know this guy on the photo just write down in the comments i don't know who's this guy okay this exercise is one of the best exercises for beginners it's the second level after the lean planche and also the tuck planche it's effective one but here you need to be really focused when you go from tuck planche to advanced tuck planche to not use your protraction because a lot of people are doing that mistake and if you want to gain more strength before you go to the advanced tuck planche just hold the tuck planche more than 10 to 15 seconds with good protraction also make sure you extend good your shoulders and biceps are looking forward pretty good exercise we're going to put it here just because we have tuck planche that is for me a little bit better exercise so we move on to the next exercise here we have handstand handstand a lot of people are using it for the planche just to gain some strength in the shoulders and handstand is the perfect exercise actually it's a skill that you can learn how to extend your shoulders and this can be pretty effective for your planche journey if you're a total beginner and you cannot do handstand without any support just do it on the wall and try to push as hard as you can the ground so you can extend your shoulders try to be in also straight line position to be more effective pretty good exercise we're gonna put it here only one reason why this exercise is not on the top because it's not planche exercise it's a handstand and it's a skill okay now we have the final exercise which is elbow plank this one i can say it's really effective because it's not really connected with with the planche but for the beginners it can be good it's just about the feeling how you can stay on your hands and here you don't have any connection with the protraction nothing really connected with the planche straight line can be good if you practice it and yeah this one we're gonna put it here because it's not the worst one but it's not a really good one this was my ranking of the most popular planche exercises from the worst to the best hope you like it if you want to see the front lever version of this video you can find it on the grunation channel see you in the next video